Hello and welcome back. We are going to pivot from the coronary artery and views series back over to hemodynamics just to answer a question I have been getting lately all about the LV waveform. What's EDP? What's BDP? Where does it start? Where does it end? I don't understand. So we're just going to take a section out of this Wiggers diagram on the left hand side. So the Wiggers diagram really showcases what is happening in each chamber at the same time, the left ventricle, the left atrium, the aorta, and just know this specific diagram is really representing the left side of the heart, but all of this is applicable to the right side with your right ventricle, right atrium, etc. So we are going to take this whole video from the perspective of the left ventricle and walk through each phase, what it's doing, how it's relating to the valves, and this will be important when you're monitoring and you're looking at for end diastolic pressure when you're looking at some of the valve gradients so you can understand what is occurring where and hopefully this simplifies it for you. Okay, so do we remember if I drew these lines here from a real way back when to remember where the, each valve opens and closes? And in this case, we're talking about this waveform being the left ventricle and this waveform, the red one, being the aortic waveform. So if we put these lines here, and I'll make it so that they stay. Do you remember COCO? C-O-C-O. -O. So what COCO means, it's just an easy way for you to remember what valves are opening and closing. So the ones up here are the semilunar valves. So in this case, that's the aortic valve. And then the bottom ones are the atrioventricular valves, which in this case is the mitral valve. So here is saying the mitral valve closes the aortic valve opens, the aortic valve closes, and the mitral valve opens. And that will become important as we kind of walk through these different phases and what is going on. So now a big part of hemodynamics is the pressure volume and valve relationship. So when the pressure before a valve is higher, the pressure before it exceeds the chamber after it, that valve will open. Then when the pressure before a valve is lower, that valve will close, okay, after this phase is kind of done. So let's see what that looks like here. So right here, we said the mitral valve closes, right, the beginning of COCO. And this is the beginning of our LV waveform that we kind of drew here. So this mitral valve is closed here, the aortic valve opens here. So all the valves are closed at this point right here, which is why this is called isovolumetric contraction, because there's no change in volume. Both of the valves are closed, no blood's coming in or out. So all of that pressure is building up to where the pressure in the left ventricle exceeds the pressure in the aorta. So then what happens? Rule number one, the valve opens. So the aortic valve opens, that's where ejection occurs. All of that blood comes out of the left ventricle and goes into the aorta. You see that occurring here. And as that left ventricle starts to lose that volume again, eventually that pressure will be lower, right? Because it starts falling, it becomes lower than this aortic pressure right here. And then what happens at that immediate point where the pressure falls below this red line? Rule number two, the valve will close. So the aortic valve will close then isovolumetric relaxation occurs because again, we have two valves are closed, right? We have the aortic valve has closed, the mitral valve has not opened up back again because it happens down here, right? That's where our cocoa line was. So right here is isovolumetric relaxation, volume stays the same, but pressure is falling. And then the pressure in the left atrium exceeds the pressure in the left ventricle as that left ventricular pressure starts to dip down so then the mitral valve will open so that the LV can now receive blood from the left atrium. So at that point where that mitral valve opens so that the LV can receive blood, can fill, is the beginning of diastole. So that's where we call this on a waveform BDP, beginning diastolic pressure. And then as that pressure rises, as the LV, as the LV fills with volume from the left atrium, right before we close again, right? Right before we close to start this isovolumetric contraction phase, what do you think is right here? That marks the beginning of diastole, so this marks the end of diastole. 
okay, end diastolic pressure before that isovolumetric contraction phase begins. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I look forward to next time.